Welcome back. All right, so today's draft prospect, I want to talk about Simone Edvinson, or Simon Edvinson, I guess, if we want to North Americanize it, right? So, six foot five, defenseman. Right away, people can be like, oh, so that's good. Uh, 195 centimeters tall, 207 pounds, or 94 kilos. So, already you look at this and you go, so a really solid prospect then. Yeah. And what we've seen in the playoffs this year is that defensemen who are six feet and taller, that's desirable if you want to go far in the playoffs. Whether that continues every year from now on, who knows, but it definitely looks like the bigger defensemen are still usually the defensemen left standing in the playoffs. You may have the odd exception here and there, but generally that seems to be the case. They also have to be talented. You can't just put a bunch of guys who are 6'6 six, six and 6'7 six, together and go, I don't know what happened. None of them can skate. I tried to tell you. Um, so consolidated rankings, which is elite prospects putting all the rankings together. They have Edvinson at six. Now I'm wearing a Kings jersey because I think if he's still there at six, they have to take him. Uh, they have Kings have so many forward prospects. They are so awash in forward prospects right now that I, I really think another guy on the blue line would help. And not only that, but at six five two oh seven. I mean, you know, Doughty at some point, you're going to have to have somebody who can play at that level and, and maybe cut back Doughty's minutes a little bit so he's not exhausted by the end of the year. And Vincent may very well be a really good pickup for the Kings, but he may not be available at six. So HockeyProspect.com has him at second. Second overall. And to them, the dividing line between Power and Edvinson is so slight that in, in their reports, it's pretty clear that if Edvinson were to go at number one to Buffalo, it wouldn't be considered that much of a stretch by them. Now, by others, it might. Elite Prospects has him at nine. So Elite Prospects currently has him rated ninth. NHL Central Scouting has him second amongst European skaters. So they don't have him rated as highly as others as well. TSN and the Hockey News both have him ranked second. So this is a prospect who could very well surprise people at how how early his name is announced. I still don't think Seattle passes on Matty Beneers. I just can't see it, that that explosive star power that he has. But if they announced Edvinson, it wouldn't necessarily be that huge of a surprise either. Uh, now, he only played 10 games at the top level in the Swedish League uh, for, for Frölunda, where he had one assist in 10 games. But he was bumped down to the other leagues as well. And, and he had more ice time down there, scored at a better rate than just the one assist in 10 games. Uh, but but scouts think he played his best hockey against men and at, at tournaments where he's representing Sweden as well. He seems to be the kind of player that when the games are more important, he ramps up his game. That's going to impress scouts and general managers. So he's a two-way defenseman who may have the highest ceiling in this draft class. It's just Owen Powers seen as the more safe, standard top-notch defenseman in the draft. Power is just seen as, yeah, he should be number one. Edvinson's just behind him. However, uh, if if Edvinson puts it all together at the NHL level, it, he could be a megastar wherever he goes. Depends on how he's how he's how he's developed, how he's brought along. And and at 6'5, 207, there's gonna be a GM who thinks maybe he's ready to play this year. Maybe, maybe we put him in, maybe like what, maybe bring him along like the Islanders did with Dobson kind of thing, where he's maybe a number seven and he watches some. I don't think so, though. I think he, I think we're going to see very few, if any, from this draft class actually make their debut next year in the NHL. He's seen as an excellent skater. His mechanics are very good. He does get knocked off the puck because when you get up and you're playing against men, men know how to knock the kids off the puck. So it's something he's going to fight his way through. And his compete level is really high. So since his compete level is so high and he's as competitive as he is, uh, that's that's something he'll be working on. Um, but his his intensity level also seems to get up. So while you might be concerned that he's he's not as engaged in some of the games he's playing at the junior twenty level, he's he's excellent. As soon as he realizes what's on the line and and the level of competition's gone up, uh, so does his intensity. Uh, he's seen as having a good hockey IQ. He does make the odd mistakes here and there and and a lot of the 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 mistakes you may see with him will be on the defensive side again that's something that's not that unusual with prospects and it's something that some prospects can figure out the defensive side of it and some don't 
Uh, for some, it's just they, they want to go, go, go all the time. They're not as worried about the defensive side. But we don't see as many players in the NHL that do that now as, say, back in uh, the 80s is a good example. Where's a lot of that. A lot of, oh, so you're you're gone, huh? Well, I'm the one defenseman on this team, so and I'm so screwed. So, yeah, um, he does need to get stronger. That's something that's been said by, by scouts uh, in regards to Evanson. He does need to get a bit stronger. So, again... Odds are probably not ready for the NHL this fall, but he's not hes not far off. Uh, he's not seen as having a Darlene-level ceiling. He's not seen as being on Rasmus Darlene's level overall. And I understand that Darlene had a rough season with Buffalo. He is still seen as an excellent young defenseman, and he's an untouchable for Buffalo. Absolutely an untouchable. Um, but he's also seen as having a higher ceiling than Philip Broberg, the Oilers prospect. So... Uh, Edvinson is going to be an excellent, you know, excellent defenseman in the NHL. It's just a matter of when, and it's a matter of whether or not GM see him as being better than the other guys who might be available. Again, I'm wearing Kings because if he's available at six, they have to take him. And and the funny thing is, I don't know that he will be available when they go or no seventh. They draft seventh. Sorry, sixth is Detroit. If if he's available at seventh, I uh, you know it's it's going to be interesting to see. If, if the Kings did, I can't see it. I just can't see it. But, uh, yeah, it, it'll be very interesting to see what happens with him. Again, could go anywhere in this draft because this draft is so unpredictable. It, I, I like it when the drafts are more predictable. And yet, in some ways, eh, this is going to be fun. But there's going to be a lot more we just don't know than in any other draft year because leagues didn't play full seasons. Scouts didn't see them as much as they normally would, especially not in person. So there, there is going to be some guesswork with this. Um, and again, as I said, Edmondson power is seen as the safer bet to go number one. Edmondson, though, is right there with him. And there's enough offensive tools there. There's that explosive, again, that, that star power quality on the blue line that there, there may be a case to be made for him going ahead of power. But again, then there's the argument to be had about Beneers going first overall to Buffalo as well. So yeah, he's better offensive than he is defensive. His strengths, teamwork, puck handling, passing. An excellent defenseman. Uh, and, and we'll see where he goes. So I, I guess the question is, is he going to be available when the Kings come up and start and make their draft pick? Because he'll be right after Detroit. So Detroit would have to pass on Edvinson as well. Or do the Kings end up being that team that says, you know what, we like this Wallstead goaltender. We think we'll take him. So there are a lot of ways this could go. This draft's going to be a lot of fun. We're about a month out now from the draft. And Edvinson is highly likely to go early. But where? Let me know where you think he ends up going. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Channel's almost to 200,000 subscribers. I don't I don't know how. I don't know, I don't know how that, that happened. But thank you guys so much for all your support along the way. It's been absolutely fantastic. And again... Let me know your thoughts on Edmondson. I will talk to you again soon.